DMC Definitive Edition. I'm going to forego my introduction and just talk about quickly the changelog and its um, the germane differences for the Succubus boss fight. Succubus boss fight, they've significantly increased the time before the first spike appears in Succubus's spike attack. They've made the spikes track Dante accurately instead of in a scattered way, reduced Succubus's health by um, approximately 20% on all difficulties, uh, changed the number of spikes that spawn so that it's scaled by difficulty, so on DMD mode it's 24 spikes, um, reduced the number of unique spikes wave to um, 1, down from 3. Reworked Succubus's attack rate on all difficulties to make her less passive, especially on the latter waves, especially on the higher difficulties. Uh, slightly reduced Succubus's stun time on DMD difficulty after Dante slams her head into the platform with Demon Pull. Uh, tweaked the amount of time Succubus's remains... Su tweaked the amount of time Succubus remains in her KO status. Wow, there's just not enough time to talk about all that shit. But you can parry her arm attacks and also her double arm attacks when she slams her arms into the ground. But this is a three-way fight and the only way you can uh, heal yourself is to use a double trigger. So what I'm going to be doing is just simply evading. Now, when she, uh, depending on which arm she uses, just watch for which arm glows. And then, if for, if for instance, she's hitting with the arm on our left, like her right arm, but on our left, and she swipes it in, in like to the right in our direction, just roll to the right. I'm, I'm going to be using the Rebellion primarily here, but if you do use uh, the Rebellion to, to parry her attacks, you'll get a parry and you'll get a stun on her, and then you can hit her, you can hit her twice and then tug her, you'll get an animation, a cutscene, and then you can hit her like three more times. But it's a lot easier to evade than it is to parry. And when you're just evading and learning the evades, this fight is a lot more manageable. Now, when she does these spikes, you can either do the angel evade or you can just you can run around. I don't like to use the the sledgehammer because when I do that I can't cancel out of the attacks quickly enough, but I can with the rebellion. However, still, with the rebellion, if you're swinging haphazardly you're not going to be able to cancel out of those attacks either to to evade so what I do is I I do a couple of swipes I see which arm is going to glow and I listen for what she's doing and I see if she's trying to dig up the earth in front of her which she's going to use to do the the, the spikes that I mentioned in the beginning of the video now here I'm using the, the devil trigger to heal myself a little bit and uh, to deal some damage to her. So I got all the way up here without taking any damage. This took a full hour of attempts to finally to finally get this and what I was trying to do first was parry but I'm telling you it's much more important to learn the evades here and they're pretty simple. I mean you could roll right through her arm attacks but you have to be rolling through the arm like when it's swinging. No, early, or no earlier or later than you're, you're due and with these just make sure that um, they've also decreased the amount of fall damage you take here because it's kind of annoying when you, you fall off but the only way you would fall off is if the spikes pushed you off which they don't too much and that's the end of the fight I hope that those tips help you out and then we'll be doing some final sections here which are gonna seem disjointed because I've cut, it, cut out all the cutscene but once we say that she's too clingy that's the end of the battle take care you're too clingy